So in my last video, I told you to aim for perfection on a daily basis, not on a yearly basis or even on a life basis. I want you to act perfect every single day and to aspire to be perfect every single day and you will be perfect in a couple of years. If you just have this mindset of wanting to be perfect every single day, you're gonna always hit a little bit lower than you aim for. So if you aim for a good day, you're gonna have a bad day. If you aim for a perfect day, you're gonna have a good day, right? And you're gonna progress only if you aim for literally the best you could get and the best you could get, not the best you can achieve, the best you could get on the world. Let's say you have the goal of being rich. Then you shouldn't aspire to make $10 today you should aspire to make a million dollars a day. It sounds way too ambitious to you, I know, but you need to eliminate this limiting belief that you can't achieve something because your mind right now is your hater. Remember all those motivational speeches when the speeches when they said, I had so many haters, blah, 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 blah. The real hater isn't outside of you. The real hater isn't your past friend or your family or something else. Your real hater is right here. It's your brain telling you that it's not possible to do something. And that is what we're trying to eliminate here with trying to achieve the perfect daily routine. And that's exactly what, would, what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna teach you step-by-step step how to create a successful day that will create successful action for you. It's exactly the daily routine protocol that I followed when I designed my daily routine. And we're gonna go through the exact steps today, right now. So get uh, a notebook, and then we will write out the perfect day for you. So get out a pen and something to write and let's get started. So here we have it, the thing you need to write down. You simply should copy this right now. So here is things I'm proud of, things I'm ashamed of. And what we'll do is we will find out your values and then try to try to put them together with the daily habits that you already do and see if you really act on your values. So we're gonna write down five things that we're proud of and five things that we're ashamed of and then we're gonna see by example what we should do on a daily basis to make us proud of our action. I'm gonna do this real quick. You can pause the video right now and yeah, see you in a second. Okay. So now I wrote down all the things that I um, am proud of in this case and that I'm ashamed of in this case. I'm not ashamed of too many things because all the experience, all the bad experiences that I had uh, shaped me right now. And since I'm very happy with the way I am right now, I don't have too many things um, that I could write down there. Now I'm gonna write down my values that are corresponding to this. For example, if you wrote down things like me, right? Like running a marathon, benching 225 for 13 reps, um, or here not having had the discipline in some moments I needed it or something, then your first value is discipline. If you wrote things that down like I I'm, I'm I, I had a girlfriend or something, right? Then you write down um, love is also a value of me, and you can write down more than five things. In fact, I encourage you to write down more than five things. I encourage you to write everything down that you are proud of and everything down you're ashamed of having done, and then out of those things, you are basically gonna tell uh, what values you have. Obviously. I'm just gonna demonstrate how you do this. You can pause the video now and write everything down you're proud of and everything you're ashamed of and then write down what value uh, made you proud of this or what value made, of, made you ashamed of it. Discipline, having, having the value of discipline made me ashamed of not being disciplined in some moments where I would have needed to be disciplined. Value of growth made me ashamed of having quit to improve myself when I was younger. Having the value of, of growth, of making progress, made me proud of having made progress. Obviously, right? It's, it's obvious things that you're gonna write everything down here. Then you're gonna write down all your daily habits here. Like for me, it's, for me it's the following. I'm gonna write them down quickly and you can write along uh, the things that you also did. You can pause the video and I'm gonna write them down very quickly. So 
So now I'm done writing all my daily habits down. I maybe forgot some, right? Like nature or something. I'm actually gonna write that down real quick. Nature, there you have it. <clears throat> and what we're gonna do is we're gonna write all our values down here, like like growth or, or something else, right? And then we're gonna align those values with the things we do. So for example, discipline is meditation, discipline is gym, discipline is cold shower, discipline is work. And nothing else is discipline, right? Growth is journaling, uh, growth is work, growth is cold shower, growth is a value that makes me go to the gym, growth is a value that makes me meditate, growth is a nature, is a, is a value that makes me go into nature, and growth is a value that makes me pray. And if you can align, all your values with the things that are here, perfect, fine. At best, you should be able to have like these kinds of lines, right? Not like one line to one thing and you only do that thing for that value. You should be able to have multiple lines coming from one value and having basically multiple values um, making you do one habit. That's the best thing you can do. And at best, if you aim for perfection here, what you should do, don't let your mind limit you, you should aim for perfection. You should have every single value on here connected with each and every single of the things that you do here. Of course, always, it's not possible if you have a value like discipline, it's not gonna take discipline to spend time with your family, doesn't it? And you should do this, and the things that miss, the things that you couldn't um, bind to all the things on this list, you should improve on, and the things you didn't bind to, to, to anything, slash the, the, the habits that have no value behind them at all, you cut out. And if there is a value that you don't act on at all, like for example, for me, I don't know one right now because I act obviously on all of my habits and on all of my values, but if you have a value like love and you don't have anything in your day that magnifies love, then you should add at least one habit that targets love. And you can simply add the habits that you have here to the habits you're already doing. And you're gonna write down the things that you need to do, the habits that you need to add, right here, and then you're gonna add them to your calendar. And that is basically the way in which you design a perfect daily routine for yourself or for anyone who wants to have a perfect daily routine. And that is how I do it in my coaching. Here you have it. This is the way on how to make your days perfect, on how to basically improve your daily routine to a level of literally a guy who's been on self-improvement for longer than two years now. And I hope the same for you. I hope you've been on self-improvement for a long time now. If not though, it's not at all bad. Self-improvement doesn't progress with time, it progresses with thoughts. You simply have to learn very fast in order to keep up with other men, which should be your goal. And it should be your goal to even surpass them and this is the routine that will help you with that. Right now, I want you to implement all the habits that you don't do right now, that you haven't aligned to any value, cut them out. If you have a value that wasn't aligned to any habit, make a habit that can you that you can then align to that value and you will have the perfect day that will make you grow literally 1% every single day and you will be almost perfect within 100 days. Now, have a nice and perfect day. See you tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. Depends on when I upload and master your mind.